Hey guys, here's how I made a ghost tassel wall hanging and these spider webs for Halloween. I use cotton twine, white yarn, and a piece of driftwood. Tie the string to the piece of driftwood. I used a double knot. I tuck the ends under the wrap part and cut the extra string. To hang the ghost, fold the string in half to find its center. Place it over the driftwood and bring the ends through the loop created, creating a lark's head knot. Make a double knot near the bottom of the five pieces in a V shape. For the tassel, I use a piece of cardstock. I wrapped it about 30 to 40 times. Use a string that's hanging on the driftwood to knot it. Then cut the extra string so that the yarn covers the ends. Next, with a piece of yarn, make a gathering knot. To do this, form a U-shape. Wrap it around all the strands. I wrap mine six times going down. Place the end through the loop created. Pull the top end so that the loop gets tucked under the wrap part. Then cut the extra string. Then trim the bottom of the tassels. Next I added googly eyes. I glued the ends of the string on the back of the driftwood. I added a couple of jokes that I found online. And here's how it turned out. Here's how I made these spider webs for a table runner 
and as accent pieces. They do stick to glass, so you could use them on mirrors or picture frames. I use this process to make my Halloween lace mask tutorial. I use black tulle and puffy paint. First, I drew spider webs on pieces of paper. In my lace mask tutorial, I used cling wrap which worked when I made the mask but not when I made this. This cling wrap was thinner and it wasn't as strong as the one I used before, so it stuck to the paint. To avoid all of that, use wax paper instead. Tape the paper onto a flat surface and cover it with wax paper. Make sure not to tape over any lines. Then cover it with tulle. I went over the design with puffy paint. Shake it to avoid air bubbles. Set it aside to dry. Then remove it from the wax paper. Cut out the spider webs. And here's how they turned out. 